Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today we're going to look at a question from Dwayne. He is Kilo Echo 8 Romeo Juliet Foxtrot. And his question is this. Hi Dave, I'm new to ham radio and I have a quick question. I have a hollow 35 foot fiberglass flagpole in my backyard and I would like to run a wire up the center for 40 meter reception. Yes, you can certainly do that. Uh, 33 feet is the optimum length for that. I will add ground radials as required. Well, they are required. Uh, if you're going to be transmitting on that, uh, which I assume you will, uh, I guess when you get your general, you don't say here whether you're general. Um, let me just check that. Dwayne is a technician class amateur, so he's looking ahead to his opportunity to get on 40 meters or on other bands too. If you're just going to receive the uh, antenna inside the fiberglass plus maybe one or two radials will do the job. Um, and uh, he says, will I have any major issues with reception by putting the wire inside the fiberglass tube? No, unless the paint is metallic. So you'll have to check with that. If I wanted to add an additional wire next to it for 20 meters, will the two interfere with each other? Uh, keep them a little bit apart. Um, Put some spacers in there or something to keep them kind of apart, but that can work. And then tie them together at the bottom, and that goes to the center of the coax, and then you'll want to put radials in. Now, uh, let me back this out here so that uh, we can talk a little bit about this antenna. This is a fiberglass pole, and it's got some wires inside. One wire is 33 feet for the 40 meter band. One is 16 and a half feet for the 20 meter band. They're tied together down here. Okay, and that goes to the center of the coax. And the outer layer of the coax goes to the ground. You might even want to put a ground rod in there. Uh, but you're going to have to have radials. How many radials? Well, that is a question that's been debated for ages. Um, there is actually an upper limit on the number of radials that are going to help. Anything beyond about 130, 140 radials isn't going to help anymore. But those last few radials give so little extra performance that if you've got 16, 12, 16 radials, you're probably fine. How long should they be? Well, since you're ground mounted here, you're going to be laying the radials on the ground. Uh, the length is less important than the number of radials. You can go down to Home Depot and buy a spool of wire. Okay, there's a hole in the middle. Um, you want something like 12 gauge, um, is it U8, anyway, 12 gauge uh, THHN, which is normal house wire, single wire, uh, stranded, uh, number 12 unstranded solid wire is a royal pain to deal with, uh, so stranded and then just start putting in radials while you're using up that wire trying to get them all around it now what do you do if you've already got a yard um, in there what do you do with those radials well now you don't want to cut any sprinkler lines or anything like that but what you can do is take like um, not a hoe but a spade uh, they make them with um, they make them with flat surfaces like this so you can dig straight down and what you want to do or you can do this with a rolling uh, kind of a cutter you cut the soil and push that radial wire down about two inches really not any more than that 
push that down there and the grass, if you just put a little slit like this, and you force the radial wire down in there along the ground, uh, you'll find that the radial is now out of sight, out of mind. If you're going to do this, I recommend strongly insulated wire. Why insulated? Because you're not trying to create a ground, you're trying to create a radial field. Okay? And you, these can be a variety of lengths, like for example, if you have a square yard and your antennas over here, you can put them like this, you know, do what you can on the whole thing. And the best you can, where you have the most radials, your signal will tend to favor that direction. Okay. Um, so that should help you uh, with your future plans for transmitting on that. While you're a technician, you can listen on that. Um, I recommend, of course, upgrading to general before you buy any HF equipment. Okay, so um, if you wanted to add a wire next to it for 20, separate them by a little bit. Otherwise, they'll get capacitively entangled with each other. So you put little separators up there. You can do that with ladder line or something like that, but keep them uh, separated a bit. Okay, I hope that helps. If you've watched this video this far, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. Subscribe gives YouTube your vote of confidence in this video and suggests to them that they share it with other people with the same interests as you. Uh, also, please click like and leave a comment. And if you would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to decastlercom support. There are many different ways there. You can pick from a one-time tip or as low as a dollar to, uh, or as much as you want, um, to um, Patreon uh, subscriptions. And I also have uh, the training videos available on thumb drives if you find that's more convenient than, than watching them on YouTube. So, until we next meet, 73.